Hey everybody, Asher here with episode 3 of our Star Sector 95 1A series. First off, I just want to say if you celebrate, Merry Christmas. If not, just happy Saturday or happy whatever good day this is for you. I hope you're having a good day. I know this is a time of year that can be very difficult for some people, difficult to be alone, difficult due to hardship, hardships, but I just want to say that I hope you're doing well. I care. You're welcome to reach out if you need someone to speak to, but just remember you're not entirely alone because... I'm here, you get to watch me suffer, <laughs> and that's that's what we've been doing here all about. But I do want to say that we do have some submissions and some crew things that we're going to be doing today, and if you see from the title of the video, unless something happens during this episode that makes me change the title, we're going to start trying to turn this money into something worth our time, such as things that can actually blow some of these other ships out of the sky. First off, we did get a new officer. Um, I have gotten some fantastic... Uh, options for the uh, wheel of actual doom as well whoa let's actually rename you please boop 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 there we go renaming it's fun i'm recording this way too late but that's okay we're gonna uh, i'm gonna make some mistakes as a result anyway we're gonna call you mikokolo as that is a submission from the trolling bob hello welcome and he's a reckless officer with uh, energy weapon mastery and uh or that's expertise. We will see how that goes. I do not have a mod installed that has officers die, so we're we're safe there. But you will see as well if we look at this again. I did say I had to fix something in the settings files. We are up to our 14 officers here. Our ship cap should be 50. The AI fleet should start looking a little bit different because I have made sure to up their officer cap and uh, ship cap as well. I did also get a mention in the comments here just in terms of looking at ships as we are at dis... What do, what do we call this place? Not that. Dis Dock. Which is a which is a great name. There's some really great names in this mod set. There was an interesting ship here, which is the uh, Monitor, which is a uh, custom frigate. It only has uh, two universal slots, but it does have an Omni Shield. This one has almost every uh, D mod under the sun, so that's very exciting. We're gonna buy it anyway. So like I said, we're gonna start trying to turn our money into something good. Once again, we can't actually take the destroyer that's right here. We can't take the armored tanker that's right here either. The rock hounds could potentially be useful or interesting. Hmm, that, that is actually not a terrible profile. Um I actually kinda like that. But we're gonna we're gonna hold off. We're gonna try to focus a little bit more on combat here. We do have some interesting ships on the black market, such as a slightly less broken monitor. And uh, while we're here, let's just let's just take a moment to appreciate. We can't buy ass, but we do have the ass class basilisk. Ooh, that is a that is an actual tongue twister. So yes, thank you, thank you mods for uh, naming your ships after donkeys. Mask could also be good. Um, small composite, small ballistic, medium composite as well. That seems a little bit promising. I do kind of want to look around though. They do have a front shield. They do move. Eh, fairly fast. I think I'll buy one. Like I said, we're not we're not going to spend all of our money in one place here. Um, I definitely do want to pick up this gremlin though. Phase has phase cloak. Um, it's gonna it's gonna take a interesting kind of person to make this work. But suddenly, look at this. We have ships with lots of ordnance things, and hopefully, we don't actually like lose here. This has a flux shunt that allows the ship to dissipate hard flux at 50% of the normal rate when shields are on. Which is nice, but yeah, this one has um, some issues. But it does have some small universal turrets, and it does have some flat cannons that are built in. So we can't actually take those out. Flat cannons are great in FTL, not necessarily my favorite in this game, but we can, we can try to make some things work. Like, we do have some anti-armor guns, some anti-shield guns. But these are universal slots, there's a lot of things we could do. We could put, like, one set of missiles in here for three missiles. It's going to be great, because I'm going to get some awesome comments from you guys about how I should be building my ships, and I'm just doing this live while recording. I hope you all don't mind. Um, but there is another thing we can actually do here. I'm not going to do it necessarily yet, but there are some mods that we can start putting in for some of these things to make them work. Like, we don't need to put the arc emitter on this one, because it freaking has two flat cannons. But one thing that is really fun that we haven't been able to talk about yet is fighter clamps. Fighter clamps are a thing that lets you put a fighter bay on pretty much any of the Reuter Union ships. 
<clears throat> now, I'm not exactly sure what kind of fighter I'd want. Apparently, we could buy one of those for uh, more than the uh, ordnance points that we have. But it's interesting. Like I said, we have, we have options available to us. I'm not necessarily going to fulfill those options yet. As I said before, our goal, we do have a few goals here. One of them is going to be to analyze the derelict probe. So I don't know how... Like, I, I know I promised to trying to buy ships and build them up and make them work, but I'm not exactly sure how far we're going to go with that. Like, medium composite hardpoint, there's a lot that we can do with this. I just need to kind of find the right weapon, because honestly, maybe I'm used to having my big Vic weapons from my last series, but I, I kind of, I'm kind of on the struggle bus a little bit in terms of finding some uh, weapons that are effective especially when swarmed with a bunch of things here but yeah i do like the multiple composite hard points some smalls a medium and then the gremlin here small missiles i'm pretty sure those are going to have to be some kind of finisher rocket it's a phase frigate after all with phase coil instability that's probably the one demod you don't want how much does it cost to restore you way too much more than we paid for it it's fine so all we're going to do now, our first goal of this episode is very simple. We do have a slipstream up here that we're going to want to go to. We do want to actually go over to this place up here. Um, Ebplig, and it's near a jump point, and the Etrig, apparently. We need to actually drop our shit off in the pool. That's, that's a terrible phrase. We don't want to actually poop in the pool. Merry Christmas to somebody, apparently, but... All right, I'm, I'm hitting a bunch of buttons. You can tell um, there's a lot going on here. Let's go ahead and use some of the supplies here to fully repair our ship. We actually do have another officer available for hire. So, uh, Iskander Walter, did we did we already see you before? You're steady with helmsmanship. We can do better than steady. All right, so let's get out of here before we get shot down with a bunch of unequipped ships. Because, I like I said, I do want to get... That, that's four that's four ships oh damn um hegemony save me save me any day now uh, orbiting this dock and engaged in battle nice so once again we just have to find a way to leave and hopefully not ruffle too many feathers. That's one of the nice things about this save so far, is that every movement is exciting. Like there's a hostile um, delivering relief package to this dock, so got to turn off our bacon out here. We don't have anything out here. I'm half inclined. Uh, we actually have a bounty. I want to see what the bounties look like here for sixty thousand. We've got a cruiser carrier. Modified freighter and a bunch of little shit. That's the kind of thing I want to start being able to target. Maybe something a little bit smaller. Maybe something from some of the, like, connected people. Oh, good. Uh, does everyone starting their uh, invasions, by the way, the derelicts here. So that's good. We have 94 days to get this, but yeah. Invasion, 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 invasion. Everybody, the land grab started. Reuter Union's actually kind of behind. That's, uh, okay, just always like, what's, what are you? What are you? Which jump point do we want to go into? Thank you for all the people that suggested. Oh, yeah, um, oh, pursuing derelict mercantile convoy. Maybe we don't want to transverse jump here. Maybe we want to transverse jump right here. Okay, everybody's going after him. One day that could be us. But for now, we're going to try to play it safe and park my ships here. Plus, we may have some ships we want to buy. So we're going to um, literally go into storage, park you, park you, park you, park you. Um, but if we... You know, I do want to look for a second, though. Not that button. Take you back out. What am I What am I doing? I'm being indecisive. This is, this is so like me. This is why I try not to do this stuff on camera as much. Okay, but like if we look here, like two universal turrets... Like a light needler seems like it's good. If I'm going after the derelicts, though, it's 50% uh, versus unshielded things. So I wonder if uh, I still think it's probably better for me to do something like 
Well, first off, your weapon selection sucks. Face Blaster. Oh, that's a really long fire delay. Um, horn Attack Gun. That could be... That could be better. Like, Anti-Armor 700, 5 available. High Explosive, decent range. Like, if we do this... Oh, no, we don't... Let's not, let's not do it on this one here. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this the real way. The way I usually do it. We have one that has a bunch of D mods and one that does not have a bunch of sad mods. All right. Like, let's try this, for instance. Like, I am... You may have heard me say this before, but I am a big fan of Desalt Miko Yun, which is probably not even how it's pronounced. Their stuff is good in general. So if we can buy this stuff, their weapon group's gonna be like this. Actual auto firing, this linked is fine. Flunk shut's good, compromised hull, degraded engines, not very fast. So I'm gonna drop me, or not me, Pierre in there for now. Um, I, I love seeing this, by the way, auto fit. Um, Horn attack gun. What is this? Assault variant with a plasma blaster. Dual auto cannons. Like there's there's only so much we can do here. Um, the other thing's gonna be like the mods here. So let's say we put on some fighter clamps for a second. Are there any other opportunities we're gonna miss out on? Like I'm not gonna put fervor on a frigate. Although that is something that would be worth my time, maybe. Um, safety overrides, that could be fun. Um, drastically reduces weapon ranges past 450 units. I'm not entirely sure. We have to be able to catch up to these things after all. Uh, reinforced bulkheads I like because it makes things almost always recoverable and it gives us some extra hull. That's, that's really nice. When I was saying before, that's where some of that stuff kind of disappeared from the skill tree. Um, we can get additional um, auxiliary fuel tanks, thrusters, blast doors, cargo holds. There we go. Eh, maybe we don't want that. Like, we might want it, because it does give us 98 speed. Let's think about it for a second. What kind of fighter would we want to throw in here? We don't have a lot of options, first off. So I'm not sure why that's not installable, but that's weird. Like, if I'm looking at some of the stuff, you know, let's, let's buy some talons. That's not, or I could buy mining platform auxiliary support drones or mining pod, I mean like, a little support drone to help me out is probably better than uh, some interceptors. Um, mining laser. Alright. Let's buy you. And you know what? We, we probably do need some vents more than anything. This is... This may not be worth the uh, points here, but this is why we run the simulations. Did I show any simulations last time? I don't think I actually had a chance to. I think I died too quickly. All right, so we're gonna um, play a game called "Can This Can We Actually Kill Something?" Because my default ship, the uh, Rook, anytime I was trying to take it on before, it really couldn't kill shit. So what do we got? It's you. We have our Omni Shield, and we have our massive flux input. So it's just one of those things that it's like, why can't I just fire all the things my opponent's firing at me? Now, I can take a hit, but we're getting outgunned here. And am I actually getting vacuum sucked into there? There we go. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. 
this may not be as worth my time for at least that kind of stuff. So if we put like some more capacitors here, some other stuff could work. Let's run one more simulation just versus something else. Like I said, I'm very open to ideas here. Maybe the horn gun's not the best, I don't know, but it... I guess one of the issues I'm having is that I'm firing uh, anti-armor gun into shields. So if we're going to be flying like this, we want to be taking on something that doesn't have shields. Let's see if I can find, real quick, last simulation, I promise. Because I know some of y'all are like, ooh, simulation, and some are like, ooh, exploration, and some of y'all are like, ooh, I just want to see you die. Which is, uh, which is very uplifting. Uh, happy holidays. Um, and here I was thinking we could actually get something with no shields. That belongs to my faction. This used to be so easy to find. All right. And someone's going to be like, you scrolled right past it five times. I actually, believe it or not, I actually do have a problem with being able to recognize patterns. It is documented. I've been to the doctor about it multiple times. It is a contributing factor for why I didn't learn English until I was about five or six. I can remember going to speech therapist in kindergarten. Let's take on a cyclops. I don't see my uh, buddy there. Yeah, this is fine. All right, cyclops it is. If I can't beat up the thing from my own faction, it's like, then why don't we feel the cyclops? But yeah. And by the way, I, I don't mean to be stupid or anything, but when I say I didn't learn English, it was actually my first language here. So yeah, once again, we're firing, we're firing anti-armor guns into this thing, which just begs the question, what are, what are you actually firing at me with? I guess we'll never know. I guess I can see right there. So what you're saying, and I, I said I wasn't going to run a simulation again, but I'm going to do this one more time. What you're saying is I need a plan that doesn't suck, and I need to just use the weapons that got me killed. So assault frigate, two, assault chain gun, and two light machine guns. Huh. All right, cool. Well, well, we'll keep this on the table for now. Um, I am going to keep the horn guns for now, though, because I am a believer that is going to be a really good weapon for some of the shit I'm actually going to be fighting out there. So let's go um, put you back in storage. Because I would, ha I would hate to start buying this stuff and then not be able to um, actually use it. Like, because I get blown up here, so... Wait a minute. Did we just, like, come up here with our beacon off again? Is a officer asshole gonna, like, come after me? Oh, hey, cat. Alright, let's try this again, now with my beacon on. Look, I'm totally an upstanding citizen here. So, no lasher. That's a ship that's pretty interesting to me because it has a lot of flexibility. Charlie's also interesting. Medium ballistic. Ugh. Ballistic on a face frigate, I'm not entirely sure. Um, Cyclops, well, we did just get our ass kicked by one. So we'll bring you on. Uh, Whiskey Priest. Strip Drone Tender Hull. Two fighter bays. Let's grab it. And a Razorback. That's actually... Oh my god, that's actually no demons. That's actually a legit ship. I think it's actually a new ship, if I remember right. Huh, well, we'll see. Um, small hybrid, medium composite. We're buying it. Alright, anything else? 
It's a Hermes shuttle. I guess I'll go from the space. We have another Cyclops. We have a Predator X escort carrier. Too big, though. All right, what are you? Predator X frigate, small ballistic, small energy, medium hybrid. Oh, my God. You just have, like, guns all over your guns that have your own guns. But that looks like a fantastic pirate ship. All right, we've spent a lot of our money. Uh, I never did good with my allowance, so let's take a look at these things real quick. Refit. You don't have shit on you. That's fine. But you do have Midas, so asteroids shouldn't affect you as much. That's fun. Uh, and then you, the uh, Whiskey Priest, comes with Blitz Boar Interceptor Drones. That's actually probably explains the price a little bit. Um, but still, it's a civilian grade hull. But you know what? It's also called a whiskey priest, so had to buy it. You you, you can't you can't explain this stuff. All right, the uh, Razorback here with medium composite, medium composite. This could be good. This is fast. This ship has potential. Um, it has no shields, which is a little bit of a problem. Um, that has screwed me over in the past. And then we also have the uh, Predator class. This could also be really good. I love all the composite slots, by the way. All right, so we're gonna, um... Oh wow, it, it automatically put me back in there, nice. Okay, cool. Store it, store it, store it, store it. Once again, this is these. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a half, seven ships. There's there's some Tolkien thing we could say here, but I'm going to be trying to kit these all out with some of the extra money that I get here. So by all means, I am open suggestions. I am on the struggle bus, and we can do this as a village. Com directory. We have a freelance administrator. That doesn't help me very much. Are you? Do you have a pyramid scheme for me? Um, metals procurement. Um, they're in 30 units of metals, 55 per unit. Uh, yes, 60 days to do it, so, all right, well, wow, you guys actually, they actually don't have metals, that's a little crazy, all right, um, well, we could try to trade with you guys, but clearly y'all suck, so, let's do that one first, because we have 91 days, not that one. Ooh, we actually may have gotten some new things here. That's that's fascinating. That takes me all the way back to where I was, though. Um, okay, I have a dumbass cat that's about to do very dumbass things. Um, yes, you are an idiot, and you can't do that. And I've just made a kitten very sad. You're going to get fixed here very soon, so... Happy New Year, no balls. All right, Dockside Bar, no retrofits today. No bounty talk today. Let's see if we can find some metal. Who looks like they probably have a lot of metal production? Kingdom of Terramite, but they'll kill us. The Dictat doesn't hate us, right? No. Let's go there. They have three. They have three terrible systems in there, though. Psy Nation might not hate us. Mm, they they kind of do. Um, it's, it's not that they hate us. They just hate our faction. Okay, and we know the hegemony is uh, is on the up and up with us. So unidentified fleet. I guess we will identify them very shortly. Let's let's get some metal. I mean, I could just salvage all this metal. Because clearly there's an invasion, and it's getting too hot in here. And uh, there's a song about that. I'm not so tired that I'm going to sing it, but I'm screaming it in my head right now. I am getting too hot. Nope. Ludic Path Cell. All right, well, we keep our, we keep our beacon on for this. Oh, possible salvage. Possible domain error probe in the correct direction. It is. Yes, please. You always want to double up on this when you can. That's in the wrong direction. Uh, Mule class combat freighter. 
And we got, no, oh my god, Jade Wintermule has joined our fleet. You have uh, picked the wrong fleet to join. We are obviously not salvaging that. Or we're obviously not keeping it. So there's 20 medals. How many medals did I need again? A um, little more than 20. Turn in 30 medals. Let's look at our officer. Oh! Hey! You're cautious and you're unassigned. Well, that's unfortunate. Because we're going to have to actually do, like, some officer training to fix that. But for now, we'll put you, we'll put you in a ship. I guess, technically, you're going to cost us money anyway. But there we go. Level 5 officer that we're going to need to try to retrain and shift your, uh, shift you to much more aggression. But yeah, there, there's some... Oh my god. Okay. You're done. You are actually done. Get the hell out. Alright. Sorry about that. I don't know if you heard just things start to fall because it's very exciting. Alright. Dictat, where were we? There we go. Dictat, patty whack, give a cat a bone. Um, once again, we could just be salvaging. Kind of a little concerned. That's just regular mercenaries. Actually, still don't have a ton of heavy machinery. So they're engaged in battle. That's a militarized racer. What, is the, what does that even mean? It doesn't matter because we're not spinning the story point. That, look at that. Okay, so you lived. You're looking for there over there, buddy. All right. And we have more invasions. Wow, the hegemony is uh, getting on top of this. Okay, comm directory. Nothing too exciting. Dockside bar. Bounties, pather. More bounties. Don't need that today. We will look at what you have to sell. Oh, here you sell a big fuel boat. Dram, mud skipper, kite, wolf. Now I like wolves. A drone tender. Civ another civilian grade hull dro drone tender. How many drones can y'all have? Apparently only one. A lasher and a wolf. Well, if we're gonna have to return anyway. Let's buy the wolf. We got a second contract now. Okay. Should've checked the black market though. Because there might have been a better wolf there. And there's not. You do have a wayfarer. Supposedly we're in a combat freighter. Ha, could've fooled me. Uh, Cerebus, also supposedly a combat freighter. Gremlin, we have one of those. A crook? You are one, in fact. Okay, let's look here. You have metals. Now, this is why I wanted to come here. Because we know that they have, like... They have a huge demand for metals. But we can find somebody that has a pretty light demand. And that place is Alcom Alconomia in the Ulibus system, which is actually really close. All right, cool. Because we don't want to be trading with derelicts, that would just be bad form. But now we know, and knowing's half the battle, and we can totally sell these ship components. On the black market, yes. We can sell these, because we're gonna, we're gonna make some profit here. Um, we have excess need for crew. We don't actually gotta worry about that right now. We do actually need to buy some supplies, and supplies here are very, a very good purchase. All right, let's refuel our tanks, repair our boats, including the wolf that I kind of just want to mothball right now, but I won't. What do you come equipped with? Mm, nothing. They do have some interesting weapons for sale. But we'll deal with that later. All right. Up here we go. Yes, I know you're a terrible cat. 
All right, what else do we got? Derelict. Okay, this is where we're literally just doing the accepted one. All right. Let's get out. And beacon off. And we gotta watch that notice board really closely in case it puts us in something like this that's actually on route. And we should still be able to do this. We're gonna we're gonna take a few more risks with uh, flying out this time because we do actually have to make it somewhat on schedule. There's a derelict trader. See, this is the kind of stuff that I'd like to be shooting down. I can't yet, but I'm close. I've just gotta equip those ships. All right, Apple. Well, all these places are named terribly. Okay, Apple's up here because you guys like having weird splits in your planets, which is all the more reason. Okay. Oh, look. Reuter Armada. Thank you for hitting me with that. I greatly appreciate it. There's an unidentified contact, and uh, everybody's trying to go to the rapture we're just we're just gonna let them have their fun and I really forgot to check if we're hostile with these people or not we're not okay oh boy you're I think you're just regular pirates um oh that's not the planet oh where are we going apple all right Wow, Apple is a volcanic planet. Uh, good show, guys. Also, I love their ship designs. They look so good. All right. Repairing ships is fine. Dockside bar. Bounty. Hiring officer for a word. Um, disrupt orbital works. We are not in that business. Um, increased pirate raids. We're also not in that business right now. We could be later, but we're not right now. We are in the let's check to see what do you have to buy here. Like I said, these just look so good. They're actually really effective too. Like, um, yeah, I mean, these are all civilian ships. The Husky isn't. The problem is I'm not here to buy this shit, but we know it's here, so that's the important thing. We do have repair docks, which we're not going to mess with here. Ah, oh, man, that that looks so fun too. I said I just I just really like the flavor of the mods. First off, it's so different than the last last run, but also just some of this stuff is just so out there. It's great. Okay, well anyway, here's you guys. Let's let's actually take a moment to look at um. Apple, the volcanic planet here with a hazard rating of 325. Oh, that's that's awful. Extreme heat, extreme tectonic activity, toxic atmosphere, also darkness somehow. Your your planet's on fire and you're in the dark. But they're doing okay on the market, um, I guess, technically. Um, so they do have metals. Henry Rollins would be proud. All right. Anyway, how much do we need? Um, um, accepted. 330. Please, Lord, tell me. Oh, wait, no. No. It's the independent planet. Okay. Down. Not there. Not you. It's you. Cool. Well, that was a that was a happy little accident. Now we have to actually survive flying down there. And there's a warning beacon. As if I needed one. Memorial beacon, excuse me. Um This beacon marks the location of a major battle sometime in the past. Several ships were left behind as Memorial of the Dead. Massive tombstones drifting in silence. I have a feeling if I try to steal these, it's gonna be a problem. We're losing money every month now. Hammerhead Mule, Nelson, Dram. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's all very nice, but we're not. 
Okay, let's put it this way. Morgan Wyatt would totally take it, but uh, Jean-Pierre has a little more respect. At least to people's faces. Okay, you're... Okay, you're just a mercenary. Cool. Okay. Before I do anything stupid, like spend money, we could actually flip a shit ton of money here. Real fast. Goodbye, black market metal, because it's the independence. Um, we actually can't carry a lot. That's... Shit. We actually need to be able to carry this shit, don't we? Alright, um, I'm experienced at this game. Alright, what do we what do we do about this? We don't need an ox. We do need a cargo shuttle. That's fortuitous, thank you. Reuter Union. Have another cargo shuttle, and Norlasher doesn't count. Shepherd Road Tender, there's a roach. LOL. Um, Mud Skipper. Cargo capacity 70. Wrong button. Alright. Mud Skipper. Cargo capacity 70. We suddenly have. A lot of things that need ordinance points. How many medals can we buy? Uh, 300. We still can't buy enough. All right. Well, if we if we dump some supplies, we could do it. All right. One more time for those in the back here. Let's see what we can buy off the black market here. Spade, spade, spade. Razorback, razorback. Scoot. Oh man, all this work just to mess it up a little bit, but that's okay. This is a part of the fun of doing this after dark. Anyway, we know what we're going to do. We're going to buy some metals here. And um, how many do we need to get again? How many do we need to get again? Let's be real here. I don't want to, I don't want to go back and forth. 330 medals, we're really close. Just... Oh, you actually got it, okay. See, this is this is my problem. I'm, I'm wearing my uh, glasses, but they're black light glasses, not black light glasses, that would be terrible. Um, uh, blue light glasses. Um, we need to transverse jump out of here. I am not flying between all that shit. All right, and here we go. Oh boy, somebody's coming right after me. Um, okay, you got me, but I'm still pretty fast. I love that they are two stars to my one star, so they're really punching down. All right, well, let's get here. Uh, cut on our sustained burn. Someone else is gonna fight him. So that's nice. We have survey survey some missions here. Derelict ship, dust world, artificial planet. It's the unknown skies mod. I got a question about that before. It's one of my favorite mods for adding flavor to a lot of save here. Not what we need. How long do we have on our accepted missions? 67. That's over there, so 75 days. Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like uh, we're gonna get our deliveries done on time. Man though, I can't, oh, you are coming after me in a hurry. I almost wanna stick around and see who you are, but I know I can't. Because you are, ooh. you might not have been that hostile. Oh boy. You're Reuter, you're Reuter. Okay, so we're Fortress Clash Drone. Let's do some extracurricular activity here real quick. Wow. Okay. Um, that's a really big supply hit. So if we just dump this out here for just a second. 
we can pick that up on the way out. See, this is the kind of shit I want to shoot down. We can make so much money if we just equip our ships. We want to we want to be the ones to do this shit. Okay. Ooh, are we finally going to start in having the Reuters invade this shit? I don't know. All right, so here we are. Mission success because I can't actually count. Deliver the medals, 330. So we got a little bit of money. More importantly, we got the rep back from uh, screwing things up. Fleet. Let's put you in storage. All right, so we still have plenty of crew. This is all fine. Let's just make sure here. Nine burn. Okay. Um, eight burn's not great. Ten burn. Nine burn. You're a, you should be... Well, if you're eight... How much does it cost you to restore? Um, okay, I guess if we're flying with one eight already, we're not going to worry too much about the other here. We do like the cargo shuttle, though. That's that's sweet. All right, cool. Um, feels like a two for episode. We got we we did some of our uh, purchasing. Now we're gonna go do some space exploration. Man, though, we got we got some really cool weapons and gear and stuff that we can hopefully put on stuff pretty soon. I'm pretty excited about that. Our suspicion level's high for some reason. They actually really need metals. We'll sell them on the open market. Try to outweigh our suspicion here. It's only high now. Thanks, guys. You're the best. All right. So it's 0.7 per day. It means we probably need to actually get 50 more supplies. All right, so... We're just always going to be sus. Reuter mining fleet. It's fine. And uh, where do we drop our goodies? Here we go. Cargo pods. We don't need to put them in a stable orbit. We're just going to smash and grab. And I'm always... Okay, the, the fact that the derelicts and the Reuters have pretty similar color schemes is starting to give me problems. So it's going to be very exciting. Anyway, Eltrig or Ertrig. What do you know? We're flying through a shit ton of nebulas, but it's fine. Let's do it. Hyperspace jump. Do we have the fuel for this? We actually don't. Huh. Um, who's, who's eating our fuel? Mm hmm hmm. It's you, cargo shuttle. And you. Okay, I know we just left. Alright, do we go without the cargo shuttle? Or do we just try to buy a second dram? I think we just try to buy a second dram. It's the old Kerbal Space Program method of if you can't fly anything add more boosters to it that's that's where all your metal is guys and um, if that doesn't work add more struts until it does work Kerbal Space Program 2 one of the games I'm really excited about for next year alright derelict patrol bet you are trying to avoid stuff alright let's sell y'all on the open market here so doot doot uh, maybe not the transplutonics is there anywhere we can... I know it's not a ton, but... Okay, it's not really worth it. Alright, Vulcan Cannon. Do, 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 muffins. Uh, Dram. Dram. Damn. Okay, second option it is then. Um, how much would it cost to restore you? Yep. All right, there we go. Um, now we're now we're cooking with gas. One point two five. I will pay that. Um, we don't need this many mud skippers. Almost just kind of want to sell it. Let's. Um, I mean, it's it's tiny money. 
I mean, it's barely even worth what we paid just to get the thing in, but it's it's for the reputation. All right. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna um, I wanna fly out. Let's just let's just be decisive here. I've I've gone on a way way longer, way f faster here. I hope that's okay. Let's just drop y'all. Means we can't carry as much fuel, but now we can go a lot further here. So storage. Might as well store the fuel. All right, let's fly. Let's be a little more aggressive as we do it this time, shall we? Don't be like a bum and just go through in the dark the whole time. Or we could just sit there and watch them fight each other. Kingdom of Terra is even doing things here. Derelict probe, wrong direction. If we were going that way, we could make it work. Gain experience from traders. We actually are almost level two. Analyze derelict ship. I think somebody's coming after me. Oh boy. Really? Okay, well, we should be faster than you. We're not faster than you. We're the same speed as you. Okay, so try attacks a bunch of jerks. And we got out this time. Alright, so beacon off. That was our first mistake. The classic blunder. And now we're just going to be flying to the edge of space. Known space. But space. Alright. We are going to go dark through these. Because that's easier than me pushing and holding S. For the same speed. So enjoy the sound of thunder. Which is also a very good short story by Ray Bradbury. That's another thing, you know, I've been I've been thinking about other content I want to put on this channel. And one thing I've been meaning to do for a while is I, I used to teach English once a really long time ago, back when I had all brown hair and it was all very short. Um and there's there's some short stories. I think I think short stories is uh, just a really nice form of writing that isn't explored quite as much or given quite the heyday as it could be. So one thing I do want to do here is just highlight some stories. There are obviously, ooh, I keep hitting the wrong button here, and I went dark just in time to get catapulted. Uh, but yeah, there's some some short stories that I've kind of want to do a read on there. Part of the reason is just so my kids can hear if they want to hear me read something. But A Sound of Thunder is one of them. There's a few others. Ooh, okay, we're gonna um hide from you. You're clearly not a sensor ghost. You're just a meanie. Oh, no longer hostile with Psy Nation. Um, where, what are you? 42 days. Uh, jump point in the star system here. We're gonna assume it's not around Bell. We are gonna go dark. They are looking for me. So we were like bright shining, firing our like butt rockets. There we go. There's the probe. It's all we needed. Run sensor package. That's money. And we can salvage it too. Nice. I am a little nervous about going out through that one. I think I'm just going to go through the Omega jump point here. Because, once again, there is somebody actually that actually wants my autograph. Let's do a ping. Okay, seems safe. If we are over cargo capacity, remember all those ships that I got rid of? Um, we'll be getting plenty of medals. That's fine. All right. Okay, who's who's looking for us next? So the Dictat and the Derelicts up here. 6862. Delta something or other. Um in the asteroid belt, well that could be a problem. But we're gonna go here. Because as you've seen in Star Sector, some of these places have a shit ton of ooh. It's a yellow star and a yellow star. Um we're gonna um take a quick peek just to see if this has a potential colonization 
it's not we're not even we're not even gonna stop by I mean one of the best ways to find whether there's a good colonizable yellow star is just to see if there's a warning beacon around it nine times out of ten that's what you want all right acid windy arid world and desertic world so acid world seems terrible but there's two call there's two habitable worlds here um, maybe on the way back because we are um, we should be fine on fuel all right and boop oh shit he burn we're just gonna e-burn into another one. All right, ordos are fun, and we have a little jet stream going that way. So that's gonna be. Uh, I need to double check the whole captain's log thing. I thought I had it installed, but that's that's another. This star system I need to go to. This one I need to go back to because this one has a ship that. A lot of you guys are like, how, or was it this one? It was one of these. I was like, how in the world could you leave? It was this one because this one's been explored. Um, how in the world could you leave this great rare ship from a mod that I've never played before there? And that's where I want to say thank you all for the comments. And I really appreciate you all watching my back and being like, hey, wait a minute. There's good stuff here. Oh, this is so nice. And yet I have some concerns about what's going to be on the other side of this uh, space intestine. All right. Fortune favors somebody. Let's see if it's me. Whoa. Oh, I did not mean to e-burn. Habits. Um, is this what we want? Delta Godfum. So no, it's not that one. It's the next one in the neighborhood. Is this a triple star system? I have a feeling it is. Which means there's going to be like 50 asteroid belts. We're losing 5,000 money per month. Which means we've got to knock off some shit. Okay, there's only one asteroid belt. And there's a desert world. Oh, let's, uh, let's take a quick ping. Okay, it's on the other side. So, we should be able to survey this. Yes. It's going to use our heavy machinery and some supplies, but that's fine. What? Oh, game. Oh, man. We didn't even get survey data. That is... Okay, Delta Gadrifium is the Delta shit. That's okay. Wait, we did get survey data. It's a class 2 planet, just by virtue of being a desert. A very boring desert. We could comb the whole desert. And we got 80,000. And we got survey ship data, which is good. And we're going to ditch you. Double tap, because we're in exploration mode. See, we have a little more crew and we have a little more supplies. We're going to be getting more stuff. All right, so this is our nest egg on top of our nest egg. It's fine. We're improving relations. The derelicts are locked at 60. Um, and a ring system in the gamma this place. Hey, it's another blue giant system. Who wants to bet that um, there's another coronal hypershunt there? Since they... Wait, by the way, there's supposed to be a survey ship... I bet I'm bet I'm about to see it. I am. No, it's a defense cruiser. The Barkad defense cruiser. Let's explore. Um, we are not gonna recover the ship, but I am gonna leave it here for now. I am not gonna take it. That's not what my missions you're doing. Should be that nobody else will take it either. Uh, I hope I'm right. All right, so eight days, how many days? It was last seen in the, in an asteroid field. 
So it's probably like out there somewhere. Apparently, apparently I don't know what I'm talking about. Or there's another star system. Yeah, it is. It's pointing me to another star system. That's fine. This is not a multi star like I thought it was. Alright, so last one. And the reason I'm going full civilian here for this stuff is because if I die, then I'm just going to lose some cash. We're going to go dark as we get closer um, because I have the time to do it. So this is exciting. Uh, Faction Repatriation Society? What? Who are, who are you? Oh, okay. I was, I should have known. The uh, Hamarakis. So that's, so that's what they call themselves. Okay, Ordo. Lying in wait. We're going dark. This is why. Deep space is scary. How many days do I have? 39. Ring system. You got a few options here. And I love that even though... Okay, Kingdom of Terra actually got a planet. Nice. Um, I love that even though they have all this advanced like stuff that survived the collapse, they're still like bound to the same sort of laws of physics. You can only detect what you can detect. All right. So slowly, surely, this is how a life is taken. Oh, this is gonna be a. Oh no. Della Marathon. That's not where we're going, right? Oh, how do I how do I map? Okay, good. Yeah, we are we are definitely ignoring that because we can't help even if we wanted to. Okay, we have some pings. This is a ring system we chose wisely. Usually the um, hyper shunts do not have an accretion disk around it. So yeah, I think we're pretty good to do this shit so survey ship um, we are not going to engage the automated defenses but if we leave it here it's possible that it gets a quest later domain error probe I bet this probe's going to say there's a survey ship somewhere oh I was wrong alright and we get more stuff that we can't carry yay okay we just ditched the metals Everything's valuable, but it's fine. Double tap because we can. Let's lose this. Technically, we can get you. It's fine. Okay, so we actually... We gained our first level. Okay. Important decisions, I guess. Um, now... I could learn one of these. I could learn sensors. Doesn't seem bad. We have these options. Now, um, hull restoration is not until all the way down here now, which is nice. We have all these combat options and all these command options. And I swear, Wolfpack Tactics feels like a really good get for me trying to swarm things with frigates. I just have to figure out what kind of weapons I want to use for it. Um, it's not the only option though. Um, tactical drills, coordinated maneuvers, um, crew training, probably not crew training. Although um, combat readiness is an underrated ability. Carrier groups, probably the one thing we're not gonna get. Fighter uplink, probably not. Um, and then we have these good skills and uh, these new skills, well, that new skill. But yeah, just things to think about. Once again, this is Asher, actually about to hit an hour mark on this episode, so I appreciate it again, and I do want to repeat what I said at the beginning. Uh, Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Uh, otherwise, happy holidays, happy end of the year and everything. Obviously, we'll be putting out more episodes before the end of the year, but it's, it's just worth saying now that, um, like I said, you don't have to worry about me. We're alive, way, way out here in space and there's a happy little order waiting for us out there but hopefully uh this time of year brings you some joy some pleasure just do something nice for yourself try to take care of yourself as best you can 
And remember, even if things are hard sometimes, the best thing you can do is try to root for yourself. That's what I had to do to get out of some really bad places that I'd put myself in. And you just gotta lean on what you can lean on. Sometimes that's you, sometimes that's somebody else. But yeah, it's a time for hope. It always can be. But yeah, that's it for Star Sector for tonight, today. You all take care, have a good one, and I will see you soon. Take care.